and we'll be playing some Total War Warhammer 2 online multiplayer today. Just a random stream, simultaneously spontaneous, that should be the word. And we're going to test a Belagar Iron Hammer build on Quake Battles. I know that Iron Hammer Belagar, this guy, is not exactly the best Dawi Lord. Um, he doesn't have any armor piercing, has limited, um, doesn't have anti-large. And pretty much just a very tanky lord with uh, pretty decent all-round stats. But I will try to make use of the guy since it is a viewer request and a very interesting challenge. Thanks to Kurokuma. Yeah, it's the best, I think that's the name. And yeah, we'll just go straight into combat and see if Belagar does anything decent in battle. I have made a build with this dude but i'm not sure how good it's gonna be i haven't did any prior testing so this will be the testing i do right now and yeah uh let's just have a look we'll just go straight for the dawi and of course they're going for uh they're going for got them skavens now that might be an issue here nonetheless we are going belagar there's a good chance we might lose this one, honestly, since Skaven is the perpetual bane of the Dawi. Now, we need to go super wide. There's no other way to do it. And we go for... Mm, let me think. Shall we go for Master Engineer or Felix? Now, I assume there's going to be a lot, and I, by a lot, I mean a whole damn lot of... Uh, Oh boy, they're already ready. They know what they're doing. Uh, I sure hope I, I myself do. So yeah, they have, they're going to be ha having a lot of death runners. And that's going to be a huge problem for us. Because of the simple fact that we suck at dealing with these anti-infantry. Armor sundering, armor piercing uh, infantry. Now let's just grab ourselves some very cheap stuff. And yeah, that... Should be it. We don't have any funds for anything else. Oh my god. Um, grab ourselves another thing. Just to beat down our opponent even better. And maybe like, I don't know. Give ourselves some funds on this end. Oh, we should, probably should have. Oh, well, it's too late for it now. We probably should have got ourselves another... Um, Got ourselves a master engineer instead, but now it's too late, too late. Anyways, let's just go in and see what happens. Also, I think I'm gonna upload this stream over to a YouTube, so there is gonna be a VOD over there. And if you uh, have something to do and want to like come back later, just feel free to drop by my YouTube and check it out over there. Now, let's go straight into combat and see what happens. Oh, and I'll probably timestamp every fight, just so you can save the um, uh, effort of waiting for opponents and loading for fights and stuff. Uh, we, we won't have any army builds walk through though, so like, we're probably just gonna set up the army. Um, yeah, set up the army. Just vanguard them as far forward as possible. Spread them slightly wider than we can. Now, just spread them out. Have our Bugmans, Rangers, they will be a second line of like sturdier missile units to deal with anything else. And our Thane and Belagar, they will be legging it since they do not have Vanguard deployment. Oh no. This is, this is like one of the worst matchups in the game with all that cheap armor piercing anti-infantry attacks from Death Runners. The um, Dawi just have a hard time dealing with the Skavens, and not, also we can't really surround them this time. So like we'll have to just push straight forward their units. Like, and with Gisales, our choppers are gonna be in mortal danger as it's a very cheap and cost-effective piece of artillery and stuff now they might be the, yeah they might be deploying around here so let's not battle and just 
just rush straight forward. If they're uh, deployed up here, it actually might work out for us since the um, curve, the terrain might just block out their um, block out their line of sight a bit. We are not going to wait for too long since we are on a stream, and we can't really that over. Uh, for too long now let's just go get our rangers and whatnot in god mode so yeah and we'll wait either for this one minute to hit uh yeah either for this one minute to finally hit uh zero or we will have our opponent signing like uh, clicking start battle as well all right let's just rush we rush, shall we? Push. All right, cool, 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 cool. We are running. It seems they have quite a few warp flame throwers. Okay, uh, we can start shooting. It. Oof. Okay, that might be a problem. We don't have anything to deal with brute horrors. Anyways, uh, we'll just fly over here. Just keep pushing, keep pushing, War keep pushing, and we'll shoot them. We we and get our uh, slayers over here. Now, please Shall blast them if you can. Strike shoot these out. guys. Kill them. And we will be chugging in stuff. Yes. Now we will have our so fly over here and start shooting them down. Please can start pushing, but unfortunately our units are too bogged down for anything. Uh, this is a bit messy already, but we are doing something. What is shooting them? Oh, okay. Makes sense. Um, well, some. Oh, well, that's a lot of dog overloading. Okay, um. Elagar. Okay, you guys can go in here. Now, shoot those. We need to conserve our units who can. We actually have some ammo here. Uh, these guys can keep plowing. Uh, you guys have to push now. And summon Flight Monks might be an issue here. Now, what units do we still have over here? Now, you guys can go over this way. You guys are plowing through. Okay. You guys can go and shoot that. With, fill that with blast attacks, I suppose. Anyways, um, we are cleaning up some of the units, although their Giselles are still doing some pretty hefty damage to us, which is no good. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to keep shooting. And cloud in. Now, since they do not have any... Oh, well, okay. Uh, we can just pop these. And it seems we have secured the back line. Now shoot these. Please rush forward. Our choppers have to back up a bit. You can chase off these guys while you're at it. Now let's go and snipe this guy out. While our very busy infantry are very busy. And you know, just keep, just keep leaving there like we'll have to be shooting them down a bit our slayers are dying but our squad of three melee characters are working down there um their lord pretty darn well so it's all good and let's just keep ourselves um high in morale keep them fighting um okay we can to shoot these guys and oh, we can send the choppers back in to start shooting again. And we're good. Now, the Buckman's Rangers, one thing so good about them is they are actually pretty damn decent in melee. Now, um, okay, so we don't have anything to keep their morale high. Uh, now, shoot that, please. 
Uh, the chopper, you have to go in melee. Right, we can't afford. We can't afford to let you stand on in the skies for melee time. Anyways, um, it seems that our dear Frot Unclean is having a bit of leadership trouble. And our, yep, our, our characters are pushing Frot Unclean away just fine. The rangers are shooting, and there we go. We actually win this. Okay, Belagar. Uh, win three. Oh, yeah. I, I did like two battles before with Belagar, but like they. But like, that was before I actually formulate a whole uh, Belagar army build idea. But right now, we're going to use Belagar as the legendary, as our only lord for the army. And we'll be playing Dawei as. Uh, since we need Belagar in the army, and yeah, we'll just keep fighting until um, around an hour and a half later, where I do have to go to bed and prepare for work. Now we'll just be keep playing Belagar, who is a rather overlooked Dawi Lord. Uh, there may I say that, since um, ever since the first DLC came out for Total War Warhammer, the, the whole trilogy. Oh well, it seem, seems like they don't want to fight Dawi as Lizardmen. But yeah, ever since the start of the Total War Warhammer trilogy, Belagar is was introduced as one of the first DLC lords, uh, alongside, well, of course, and his corpse card. Now, both lords, I would say, are rel relatively underpowered uh, up till this very moment. Or at least the community thinks that they are. Now let's just go for the same thing. Uh, let's get ourselves some speed and yeah, we'll just overload them with miners again. Like there's no point going for anything else. And I'm still worried about like Death Runners, but like there's not exactly a lot of stuff you can do about it. Maybe I'll get. Maybe I should just get a Master Engineer as well. Just for extra blasting abilities. Anyways, we have that. And since, like, Belagar... Yeah, Belagar... When I think about it, ever since Belagar came out, nobody really used him as a Lord of Spotlight or something. Just, it's always Ungrim, Orgrim, or the White Dwarf. So... And now we have Floric Ironbrow coming out with the whole new revamped uh, rune system, as well as his very convenient cooldown reduction item. Like, you just. Like, Belagar as a legendary lord is rather obsolete. The only, like, the only circumstance I really see him actually in any replace is maybe you bring. One, you want, like, a better dwarf lord than usual, so you bring Belagar, but you strip him of all his abilities. Including this revenge incarnate that gives extra melee attack or um, and also base weapon damage and mighty oath stone. This item grants melee defense as well as charge defense, expert charge defense. So anything in the vicinity can absorb the charge and ignore that charge bonus. Um, but the thing is, it doesn't. It seems like nobody really think that it's a good item so nobody really put it to any use and yeah it really re it like this discrimination honestly really shows anyways uh we have a bunch of units here we only have two slaves is that enough i have no idea but let's just get ourselves a Are we is this even tournament legal to get like one extra miner like that hmm Maybe we have to go back to two things again. We gotta go cheap, because we do need a lot of slayers. But yeah, anyways, let's just up our stats on these miners for a bit. And yeah, alright, here we go. Ready when you are. Go ahead, have fun. We'll give them another minute, and we'll have to click start battle because we are in a stream and we can't really battle doodle for too long 
Now, um... So, back to Balogar himself. He has overall pretty good stats. High armor, 120 silver shield. Absorbing uh, missiles would be a pretty good roll for him. Okay speed, 32 is okay for a dwarf. Like, most of them like are like 20 something. Slayers, 40, but still not that fast. We have the Rangers with 33, and yeah. He himself have expert charge defense, so he can ignore uh, charge damage, at least charge bonus. Uh, and Courage is pretty standard. Hammer of Angren, that's an item for himself that grants himself uh, better melee stats, better weapon damage, and better uh, melee attack and whatnot. And now when you add it up with the re mighty... Actually, no, Revenge Incarnate. It can really ramp up his attack and weapon strength to a ridiculous amount. My, actually, now that I think about it, these that uh, these buffs might help him to negate the use of, um, like allow him to just avoid the use of any rune magic support. Instead, you can invest into something else. You don't need to always bring rune of speed to do melee damage. Instead, this guy, him, he himself is self-sufficient in melee buff support for himself. And then you also have the Mighty Oath Stone that provides melee defense and expert charge defense, allowing your infantry, they are already tanky as they are with high defense and high armor and whatnot, and to become more tanky with that extra melee defense buff and also expert charge defense. Now, one way I have been thinking of using this Mighty Oath Stone is to line up your miners in front, have Balagar supporting them with this ability, provide that expert charge defense, and miners, since they have to throw blasting charges, will never get the charge anyways. So if you pop the expert charge defense on them, then since your miners are getting charged, they will be able to hold their line a little bit better than normal. So, excuse me, I'm just going to hydrate a little bit. So yeah, that's like one way I'm planning to use him. But of course, we are fighting Skaven. So like as if it's not like as if we have a lot of um, we have any charge issues here. It's most the biggest issue is armor piercing, anti-infantry, infantry, i.e. Infantry, death runners. And the deployment zone is pretty deep. Like, the Vanguard zone is pretty deep, so like, I'm not sure whether it's a good idea to do this. Uh. But honestly, as dwarves, your only way to handle Skavens is to fight them back with numbers. Like, you have a bunch of miners to throw blasting charges, um, then you have the gyrocopters as your aerial support. Now let's just get these guys into a group. These guys as well. We have some choppers in the skies. And our rangers will be in god mode. And yeah. Let's see what happens. Now actually. Uh, let's go. We'll have fun. And yeah. Let's give them another minute and see uh, whether they will be starting soon. Now, if they do, we will be faking start as well. And yeah. And while while we're waiting... Oh, shit. That was a mistake. Excuse me for the language there, but over here. Like, Bugman's Rangers, I chose them for a reason, is that they have pretty decent melee stats in general. I did a video on YouTube before about how they can actually hold their line, the Buckman's finest. They have 24 melee attack, can handle a bunch of dogs and punch back pretty decently. 38 melee defense, pretty damn high for a ranged unit. Like even for a melee unit, it's really high as well. Like you can see there's their stats are much better than these puny miners who have some chevrons on them to buff them up. Anyways, um, so, they will be the one handling any dogs charging in. Like, Rangers, they have okay combat stats, but getting a charge by dogs, it's not gonna be end up too well for them. And. 
yeah, our width of the army is still fairly limited as well. So we need to utilize whatever we can. Anyways, uh, it's been uh, like a minute, so let's just get the battle starting since we do want to keep the stream a little bit more packed with action. Too long of a waiting time is suboptimal. Now, oh boy, that's, uh, that's a pretty awkward formation. They have a lot of artillery here. I assume there's a bunch of, wait, what? Where are the, okay, that, I swear they must have some stuff hidden, namely death runners. Now, they are just plate block catapults, so I don't assume they will be too threatening against my aerial forces. If anything, they will just wreck my infantry, which is not nice, but we'll have to deal with it. Like, this is such a life of the poor dwarves. Your legs are short and you can't really do anything about it. Anyways, we can start shooting the plague claw catapults with the closer units. Anyways, um, these miners can go blast them. Ooh, we're flaming throwers. Why? But why? Okay, I'm not sure why, but it seems like if they like we flame throwers with against Dawei for some reason. Oh, well, the Giselles are in the. You can see the Giselles are firing from the bushes, but that actually works out perfect for us. Like we don't, honestly, we don't care about. Uh, as as long as they're staying in the bushes, their shots will get mitigated by their own. Okay, uh, let's just. Okay, cool. First wave of even infantry gone. We just need to push our squads forward and pick out their artillery. Anyways, we have to keep pushing with the buttmans. And it seems like they're not flanking us with anything. They are shooting at our stuff. So let's just keep pushing and chuck some blasting charges in there. Uh, well, that flamethrower is really doing a number on us. They are punching up real hard. Okay, let's just push our stuff inside. It doesn't matter anymore. Rush. Ignore them. Charge. Eh, you know what? Freak. We'll just charge at this point. Charge. Wait, who's... What's killing this? Oh, the, that's probably the Giselles. Oh boy, that's a lot of dev runners. Okay. Okay, we need to keep shooting these guys. Oh boy, I knew they were hiding something. Didn't realize they were hiding that much stuff. Anyways, we are going to try to get a shot on them. Anyways, um, we'll keep pushing with these guys and try to beat down their assassins and whatnot with. Well, they will be responsible for killing the Jizil. Okay, um, let's, let's just go there and pop everything on ourselves and beat down Gotham Left Master Snitch. And you can see Snitch just gets deleted over there, and we'll just keep pushing with our units. Now, Snitch, we need to keep him away, so we might as well just send a unit of gyro coppers to help them out a bit. Now, beat down the second unit of... Wait, what? Okay, we have a lot of breaking units, so we probably should start pushing for the back lines. Now, the right, a lot of the remaining units are... Okay, cool. We have broken apart one of their units, so we just keep pushing. This is a little bit hectic, but we will keep pushing. Oh, wait, no, we need to... Okay, we send these guys in. Keep pushing... Uh, snitch away. And we have our infantry, just keep pushing, guys, just don't, don't stop. Oh, and keep them on start mode. Anyways, um, one of okay, one, one of these guys are getting into, which is not good. Now, 
you guys can screen out a bit while you guys can shoot them down just keep pushing make sure they don't come back oh boy um okay we have might have a problem here then um that's quite a bit of stuff coming back so we'll just send in our gyro bomb uh gyro bombs like there um no just fly over please uh and yeah need those bombs coming in right now right here and now just shoot down the remaining death runners oh boy that's a lot of dissected army here which is not good um my you can see my uh, micro is a little struggling a little bit right now uh, boy. I mean, we do have the advantage and balance of power. We are pushing back a lot of their forces, but at what cost? Uh, and there's a that's a nice plague spell coming in. Anyways, let's just kill off their range core. Well, our miners are picking apart. Oh god! They are bogged down, but we do have a second unit of gyro coppers here. These miners can keep the, keep these guys on the run. Okay, the summon's gone. We can go and hunt down too. Uh, what else do we have here? Now, let's just grab these guys in here. Art in, surround them, please. Just keep these Giselles pressured. Uh, the slingers, we don't have to care about them now. Just keep shooting at these things. Okay, why is this? Okay, well, cool. Um, that assassin is dealt with. Now we just need to deal with this big priest. And keep these guys on the run, and we should do just fine. Um, yeah. Everything, just start chasing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please finish off. Snitch, maybe. Oh, cool. They're going into melee. Now we just need to beat this guy down. And get, let's get ourselves some defensive buffs on. Shoot down Snitch. Oh, well, actually, you need to shoot down this these guys. And we should get army losses at some point. Not sure when, but hopefully soon. We'll just keep chasing these Gizales. And with Snick uh, Snickage dead, we should be good. Army losses should kick in at any moment at this point. Just come on. Yep, 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 yep. Chase them down. Chase them off the... Oh, damn it, the Giselles. Okay, and our opponent withdrew. Okay, there we go. Belagar is the best. Cool. We have a bunch of losses on the miners. Most of our slayers are dead. We do have one very healthy unit here, but the others got hacked apart pretty darn well by that, well, Death Runner spam. Now, our air forces are remained pretty nicely intact thanks to our opponent deploying the Natty Bubos in the trees, so the trees basically block off a lot of shots. Our range core is pretty much dead, like suffered a lot of heavy losses, got ran over by the Death Runners, of course, that uh, elite, well, kind of elite Skaven tactic does work wonders against dwarves. But yeah, right now, let's move on to the next battle and we'll see what happens. And yeah, wait, let's let's just wait for our next opponent here, Pesadilla555. Well, let's go back to Dwarfs again. And Belagar Iron Hammer, of course, fully kit out with everything on him. You can see with a couple lane support, Belagar can do quite some hefty damage against our opponents. Now, this time we are fighting against Lizardman, so I guess we should expect them... Oh wait, no, this is High Elves. I guess we'll have to expect... Oh, we'll have to expect a lot of Lions or Lion Chariots. And Belagard 
hang on against abuse of armor piercing anti infantry chariots? I do not know. But what I do know is that we need to bring at least a gyro bomber with the guns on top. And of course, Master Engineer and Runesmith for their useful supporting abilities. Fiery Ring of Flory as well, in case they are bringing in a bunch of rangers and we have to deal with those. Um, now, should we bring Rune of Breaking just for the lols and see how much damage we can give Belagar? Now, let's do that. And I don't think we need any other items here. Yeah, we're, we're good. Like, Rune of Raffle and Ruin might be decent against uh, archers and whatnot, but this time we're, we are using Fiery Ring of Flory for that. Uh, now... This will be my original plan here. Bring in a bunch of stuff like this and a couple very cheap artillery and then just top up with a couple slayer units and what else can we afford? Oh wait, we need to buy, we need to leave some funds for uh, archers. Crap, uh, now let's just grab more of these and a couple of these and that should be okay i suppose anyways uh do we have enough funds for nope we do not have enough funds for akron's miners I, it would be nice to have those but since we do have the iron breakers here that's not happening and i assume they might just come in with a bunch of uh sword masters and then we'll have trouble Anyways, what's done is done, we'll start the battle. Let's go. Languili Languili? Hmm. Not sure about how this map is called, but Well, it's French, so and I'm not exactly good at that language. I actually learned a bit of French before, but just only a bit and I just kind of gave up in the end. And now I kind of have some embarrassing pronunciations that are available, but I'm not going to embarrass myself right here right now. Anyways, um, let's just wait for the map to load. I do like how when I'm on the debug camera, I can just go everywhere. I go off the map and just explore the edges of the beautiful scenery of the old world. Although these are just vast landmass, go through the... Oh, wait. We have went into the... Terrain themselves, not exactly what we want. Anywho, we will be waiting. What are... What is on the corners on this map? Actually, yeah, the Bretonian Castle. That makes sense due to the name of the map. Looks pretty neat as well. Although, where are the entrances? Okay, we they enter from... Wait. Oh, and we're back here, since we have a battle going right now. Now deploy them, deploy these bolt throwers at the more, um, in a more open terrain, since they are artillery and will need to fire at will. Our first line will be consist of just miners and nothing more, nothing less. The second line would be our rangers and iron breakers. And at the back, we will defend with, well, our poor slayers here who will be fighting to their death against chariots. Always the bane of Dawi existence. Um, now, so how are we doing this with the fast grouping? Okay, uh, we'll just put everything on fire on guard mode, except the gyro bomber. He does not. He does not want to be on guard mode. The the master engineer will flash bomb on the right flank. Left flank will have the rune smith, and then we have the slayers guarding the artillery pieces. Do they do they have charge defense? No, they do not. They used to have charge defense, I swear, but I think they uh, CA might have take that away. Oh boy, that's a pretty wide build, and I assume due to the existence of War Lions, they are going for a War Lion spam. 
I actually use um, Warline spams as one of the tactics against Dawis before, and it's very effective um, if you can actually get into their units. Say, something like Iron Drakes, they would do wonders against them. Anyways, now, I don't think my opponent bring... Nope, they did not bring any... Oh, Tyrion? Okay, cool. We have... We're gonna have to meet him in combat with our... Oh, and they brought Sisters of Avalon. Holy crap. I didn't expect that. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. And... Let's just fight him. We can fight him. And... We'll just spock him down. Oh man, did they hurt a lot. They hurt a whole damn lot. And let's... Just... We don't have... Hmm. Okay, where... We have anything to stop them. No, we don't. At least we have... Okay, can we shoot them point blank? We'll have to try. And we have to rush in with these guys. Oh, those dice hurt so damn much. Anyways, let's see if we can sneak in with the gyros and get ourselves a surround here. No, not surround, but like get ourselves a sneaky bombing run. Anyways, uh, they will have to respawn now since we are kind of buckling under the weight of all these units. Anyways, uh, let's just keep pushing. Draw them. Kazook! Hammond Kazook! But! The sisters of. Oh boy, we have Sword Masters incoming, but we have to deal with the sisters first. And I have faith in the Dawi. But hang around long enough. Now, um. Just mess up their deployment a bit first, and maybe drop some bombs on top of them. Thankfully, they do not have fire when moving, so that was nice. Anyways, we need to finish them off. And we actually... We actually... Okay, uh... Don't stop! Dodge them! Run! Run! And also, Belagar is beating the crap out of... Um... Tyrion, which is nice, honestly. Um, didn't expect that. You'd think like, oh boy. And I dropped my the bombs right on top of my own slayers. Great. All right, now this time we drop a better bomb. We need to bomb the crap out of the sword masters. And we will get ourselves with a bit of a little buff here. Debuff their melee defenses as well. Our units are dying. Not good. Uh, shoot them, please. And... Get ourselves a little bit of melee buff. Oh, we are a bit late on the buffs. So we'll have to run. And we need to see if we can... Ah, the... Oh man, like, my bombing skills suck. Anyways, uh, we got it. Can you shoot them down, please? Somehow, we're not dead just yet. Now finish them off, if you can. Uh, yeah, well, our units are running for their lives. Now, throw the... We need those bombers. Okay. Lion's running. That's fine. Exactly what we need. We will have to bomb them. But we have one single bomb left. Okay. We need to do whatever we can. Uh, we have 28 Garo bombers. Start running. One bomb. One bomb. Alright. That's it. That's all our bombs. And we'll have to start shooting for the rest of the game. They still have a lot of work. Oh, well. 
it seems like our our opponent throw in the towel. And yeah, thank you, uh, thank you, Harmon, for supporting. Great, always great to see you here, and thank you for all your replays sending in. Like, yeah, just great content for this channel, especially like you set you feature a lot of like off meta units, and you don't see them in action a lot, and that's what I love about like some uh, irregular armies. Like they just surprises your opponent with the most uh, surprising uh, element, and yeah, Kazook for the Dawi. Now, um, Belagar, Belagar, Belagar is an absolute solid, um, a solid lord. I forgot to check out the army performances, but I, I'm very sure that he did a number on Tyrion. Like Tyrion, a a formidable duelist with excellent stats and also a bunch of melee buffs on himself actually gets beat down by a non-armor piercing dwarf lord he's legendary of course but that that's still quite an embarrassment for a renowned duelist oh boy somebody's gonna go for the heart matchup here and that's gonna be rather tough hey uh I'm, he either knows what he's doing, although I do hate this map, actually. I do, either he hate this map, uh, either he knows what he's doing or he's experimenting some stuff, which might lead to either surprisingly good outcome or terrible ending. But we'll see. Oh, a storm, a storm vermin build against Beastmen? That's interesting. Like, storm vermin, I actually tried uh, Skaven Melee Infantry Rush before, and actually made a video about it recently, but like the Storm Vermin as a as a mainline infantry is just horrible with like mediocre morale for elite units. Like I don't see how Storm Vermin works as they are way too overpriced for their staying power. They just runs away when like the engagement turns south in the very first moment. Oh, haven't found the right build yet. Good luck on that, mate. Good luck on that. Uh, it was, I was having a rough time with those. So like, I, I know it's gonna be pretty damn hard to actually work out a storm vermin main build. Like I've heard that, I've heard people using a storm vermin box against the vampire counts, but then storm vermin's routed off. They don't have immune to psychology. Their morale is low, so like they just can't hold. But yeah. It would be actually pretty. It would be very not worthy. Oh, two to triple gold chevrons. Well, that's a very expensive uh, solution, though. So, like, how much does they cost? How much do they cost with full chevrons? I'm not sure. Like, I need to check. But right now, let's just focus on the battle at hand. Bring in Balagar as always. We'll just go full Balagar. And get ourselves a lot of rangers. We might need to get ourselves some magic damage here. So, of course, fiery ring of glory. A well, let's just get it ourselves. No, not a plane. No, not you. A runesmith. Forge fire is not necessary. We what we need is this rune of raven ruin. Um, rune of breaking not quite so. Rune of speed. Nope. No rune of resistance. But rune of slowness for sure. Uh, we need to dish out as much damage as possible against their cavalry as soon as possible as well so and i'm not sure whether we should bring flame cannons anyways just miners with blasting charges against wood elves never goes wrong because like even against trees the flame damage might do decent One thousand four hundred thirty-three for three gold, three gold stone vermin. Wow, that's quite expensive. Uh, thank you for the comment, nameless order. And I mean, storm vermin is a bad unit, but it would be interesting to see if they can actually work. That's why. That's why I sometimes use like underrated slash overlooked slash bad units uh, in my wild army builds, because like sometimes even the worst units might have a surprisingly good application in combat 
just that it needs the right tools and right combinations to make them work. So that's like my two cents on the whole uh, matter, I suppose. Uh, anyways, let's just bring in a bunch of, you know, warriors. And I mean, should we bring in another slayer? That's a real, real, uh, that's a real question here. Um, ready. Let's just go for full. Uh, just get ourselves another slayers, anyways. Like a couple Dawi infantry would be good. And we don't have much funds left. That's an issue here, but we'll see what happens. Uh, just give ourselves a little bit of buff and we go. I mean, Storm Vermin with Halberts might be good against, um, say, Dawi monsters. But not Dawi monsters. Holy crap, I've been playing way too much Dawi lately. Um, Storm Vermin might be good against Beastmen monsters. But against the infantry rush, the halberds will be rather weak. And also considering that they have Jabber's Life, which has a pretty thick HP bar and ridiculous animation that Skavens have no way to pin them down other than using an Abomination. Like, I think Abomination is the only thing with enough mass to pin that uh, Jabber's Life down with their ridiculous animation. Everything else just get pushed aside. Uh, we do not have any... We do not have any artillery here, so uh, it's gonna be a skirmishing fight. We have a lot of crossbow bolts, so that's a plus. And a lot of slayers in the back line. Hopefully, they're not gonna feel... I just hope they do yeah, I just hope that they're not gonna field a full, uh, a full. What do they call that? A full stack knight build. Yep. That's gonna be. I, I'm not sure whether I have the micro to handle that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's see what happens here. Um, let's just put a couple dwarf warriors on the flanks for that flank protection, and we're good to go. Ready when you are. Alright. Good luck at work, Hammond. Thank you for dropping by. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video or something. And thank you. I will try to enjoy the stream as much as possible. This has been pretty fun so far with Belagar. Like, he is a surprisingly good duelist. I'm surprised that nobody really showcased him in any streams and videos. It's actually rather surprising, actually. And yeah. Um, now, just put these guys on guard mode. Uh, these guys as well. And we go. We have no idea where their units are, so we just start pushing. Actually, we should have deployed a little bit further ahead. Floric is the best lord followed by Rune Lord. Uh, Nameless Order, yes, I do agree with that. Rune's... I'm not sure about Rune Lords actually, but Thoric is definitely, definitely the best Dawi Lord uh, available, available. Oh my god, that's a lot of Hawk Riders. And I have no sight of where their units might be. And we're lagging a bit. Oops, that's, uh, that's my, that might be a problem. Yeah, we're, we're walking very slowly and they're already rushing and we, we stop around here. Start shooting them down with our crossbow bolts and also extra block chance. We will have to blend their infantry with our armor piercing fire. Oh, no, not armor piercing fire, just volume of fire. And blend their infantry as well with the blasting charges. That's our best bet, honestly. Anyways, they're shooting at our miners, not the best trait for them or now let's just push up ahead uh, that hurts a bit now they try to swarm we swarm it back and whoa no, actually that's a pretty now they t they allowed their hmm, okay 
that might be a tricky because they allowed their okay we need to charge back and let's see if we can slow them down uh, boy. And we are beating back their Rykov pretty soundly. Let's just finish up their... Um, let's just finish up their... Oh boy, the second wave of war dancers is coming in. And... Okay, we need to back up a bit with our... No, okay. Run, 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 run in. Run in there. Um... Let's just hold them back with numbers for now. Of course, they are having... Do we have... Yep, we do have that. Now, since they plunge in a bunch of units in there, might as well just send in stuff to hold them back. Okay, this... As I said before, our opponents either know what they're doing when they're fighting um, dwarfs with... They either know what they're doing when they're fighting dwarves with uh, wood elves, or they, um, or they might have a high risk, high success gambit. And in this case, they obviously know what they're doing right now. Like everything is pretty damn organized on them. Just good pressure on all ends. I am struggling to catch up with my limited infantry and stuff. And oh damn, they're healing up pretty darn well. Anyways, the uh, slaves are doing not too well. We will have to burn them down with something. This will do. And we'll have to rush forward. Cut them down. Can we shoot them down? Oh crap, they are... They're dragging our slaves away, but it's not like we have any choices here. If they keep shooting our units, we will die. Now, let's just dump a smoke bomb in the vicinity. Nice pressure on all ends by my opponents. Like, great job to them. Just dragging away my units, my valuable slayers. I'm not sure whether I should just let them stuck around and let the... Uh, let those Go! units fire in. Now, just keep firing. We have to do whatever we can to break through. Oh boy. Now, please run in, finish them off. And what do we need? What do we have here? What's available for op our options? Nope, nothing's available. All our infantry are gone. Unfortunate. Uh, dwarf warriors are dying. Oh, I just have to run back with the slayers now. That was a mistake. Pushing the slayers all the way out to the heights. They're getting bogged down and shot pieces. And yep. All our infantry are essentially gone. Most of them wasn't even able to use up their ammunition. Although, we do have a chance to blast away their word answers. I mean, I probably should have waited a bit longer, but we'll just have to take whatever damage we can do here. Give ourselves a little bit of a buff. Because... We do have a pretty decent melee profile here. Uh, let's just come back with a little bit of shooting. And our units are pretty much dead. Anyways, let's just get our uh, units back here. Recuperate a bit. Yeah, recuperate a bit and then we'll see what happens. Um, not that we have any choices left. We just have to keep pushing and they're shooting our uh, units. Great. Let's just pick apart their word answers as um, we can. 
Probably not, honestly. Damn, I I wasn't prepared enough for War Dancer Swamps. And also my blasting my blasting technique for my uh, miners is it's a bit wanting. Room for improvement exists. And they are shooting my stuff now, okay. Uh, while they are at it, my... Oh, they can keep shooting at Draka while at the meantime. Wait, can he? Hmm. Nope, all blocked. Can't shoot. Can't shoot the woman. The riot. Anyways, we have. Okay, and our slayers are caught in combat. Hmm. Yeah, War Dancers seems to be. I probably need more Dawi warriors, if anything, when I think about it. Anyways, it's a bit too late to. Uh, think about that part. We just have to do our best to maybe fight our way out of this. Probably not, but th these layers are going down. Um, my units are pretty damn limited. Okay, let's see how many war dancers can we shoot to pieces before they all die off. Anyways, we still have one remaining. We still have one remaining fiery ring of 4 recharge left. And our squads are. Our character squads are still. all. intact. Finish them first. Keep them surviving. Um, let's see if we can kill off their mobility. And get ourselves an explosion in here. I just hope they, this kills off enough of their units. Yep, it seems to do a little bit of shock damage to them. Not enough to win ourselves a game though. And we just have to keep dropping. I hate this snowy floor. I can't really see anything. I don't even know if my hits actually hit. Give them a little bit of a... Melee the buff, and just try to do our best for fighting here. Get ourselves a little bit of a restocking, and we'll restock. That will give ourselves a balance of power buff, but not enough to change the game. As um, yeah, there's just too many anti-infantry units here. And Draka smacks the crap out of our poor Belagar. And that's it for this battle. Oh boy. That was a bit hectic. Well, I guess that's basically it for the game. Let's just concede defeat and save the game as one of the losses for the night. First loss so far and that was a very impressive Wood Elf build. Uh, a lot of war dancers really good at pressuring and since my build is a little bit narrow they lack the holding power and the well they lack the holding power for a bit and yeah the it's not narrow in the sense of it lacks units but that it lacks quality units to hold the line uh, a lot of these miners with blasting charges just get routed off right after being charged and wasn't able to hold back the enemy long enough I probably should have just went for more infantry like more quality infantry maybe a couple more um, Dawi warriors instead of so many slayers maybe three slayers would have been enough and most certainly I shouldn't have just sent two slayers up after the glade gods instead they would have done much better just standing and fighting a bunch of have put, holding back the wood elf infantry while the rangers would have been able to fire a little longer. Anyways, we will go 
for the next battle. I think I still have enough time to play for another half an hour. So two to three more games. That's gonna be it afterwards. Anyways, let's just keep the battle rolling and see who we will be fighting. And yeah, sorry for the start there. Uh, pardon my English. It's not my first language, but I'm I do am trying to get myself better. And hopefully the commentary will be a little bit smoother as time goes by. And yeah, let's just go into the army selections, what we're fighting, Tomb Kings, okay. And we'll go for miners with blasting charges, because it's probably the best option to go with Belagar. Now for the rest of the units, my opponent might will just be fielding some cannons, hopefully they will not be charging in with a lot of chariots, but of course they will be charging in with a lot of chariots, I assume. So, again, Master Engineer, just for Firepower, Fiery Ring of Flory, and also Smoke Bomb. Now, Runesmith coming in with some a bunch of stuff, really. Uh, we don't need this. Melee attack, charge speed as well, and actually Rune of Negation might be nice to hold back enemy attacks. Like when Belagar is dueling, say, a War Sphinx. Now a couple, three of these might be nice. And some Dwarf Warriors to hold back enemy units. And maybe some Iron Breakers. Now... Just get ourselves some slayers as well. We don't have enough money for two slayers. All oh, right, our cannons are still there. Don't worry about it. We'll just delete them promptly. And two more slayers. And now get ourselves something to counter the skirmishers. Well, we're like 100 short of funds. How do we do this? How do we get some more funds for the rangers? I don't think. Uh, now, hmm. Dowies are expensive, after all. Can we skim on funds? N not enough. Well, let's just get ourselves another dwarf warrior to hold back the chaff, I suppose. And that shall be it. Actually, wait, we can. No, we don't have. Hmm. Uh, this is annoying. We're so close to another unit. Mm. Can't lose that fiery ring of flurry either. All right, fine. We will just get another this. All right, cool. We don't have. Ah, shit. All right. I, I was thinking about like deleting that leadership ability and then get ourselves uh, uh, the rune of speed. But I guess we'll have to run the game without it. Anywho, we will be rolling with whatever we have here, mistakes or not, we will be fighting with our best effort. Give it 100%. I mean, mistakes might hamper those efforts a bit, but we'll still try to be the best. And that's respect for our opponent. I don't tend to like... Uh, or go combat at usually because I mean your opponent spend the time to play against my opponent spend the time to play against me so uh, I I would say they deserve to be able to win and you know like savor the fruit of victory like uh, okay let's see if we just do just put Balagar in here to give the defensive buffs while we have infantry on the side, so our second line of explosives can just be placed over here, and then we have a lot of. Let's say we just have a lot of. Uh, let's just say we have a lot of uh, firepower. Uh, put something around here 
They can pull slightly back. And we have Iron Breakers here. In the middle, we can have our extra. Okay, cool. That should be it. Oh, right. We need these two to just stand around, provide that slow or whatever they have on there. We do have. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And of course, they are gonna. Mm. This is a problematic. Double. God damn it. Oh no, this is gonna hurt a lot. Are we just. Okay. Okay, uh, they're gonna take out one unit of, um, like, of bolt thrower, which is fine, and the units are on auto fire, which is also fine, and then we can just rush afterwards, and yeah, at least we killed off most of their mobility, and we should be good. Anyways, um, please slow that one down. And then we can just start pushing afterwards once we dealt with their mobility. Uh, as our bolt thrower will be responsible for continuously shooting them to their death. Once their mobility are gone, we can push. And at least we want to have at least one of their so caskets of souls done. Like our opponent is a bit rushy, I would say. So they they got they basically screwed up on the um, Necker and Hossman. And unless they have Doomstalkers somewhere hidden, now I I hope that that's not the case. But otherwise, we shall be okay with just leaving the artillery since the all their horses are gone. We are just free to fire with both throwers chipping away their casket of souls while their casket of souls aren't exactly doing too much damage against us. Uh, High Queen Kalita is doing something. Oh, they want to aim a shot at something. But at this point, we our only option is just to push, honestly. So push we go. Now they have skeleton warriors, so we shoot this. Everything else, sh start shooting that, please. And you guys can shoot this thing. Uh, you guys as well. I'm not sure what the rest of the units can do, but first of all, we need that right fiery ring of sorry on something. This would be nice. Just break through their front line, and then we can start charging. Anyways, um, our infantry are pretty much half dead. The front line portion, at, at least. And they're not aiming at the Ironbreakers, which is uh, good news for us. Oh, but that... They do have a Bone Giant up top there, so that might be an issue. So, please shoot that. Master Engineer. Now, uh, let's do a little bit of hammer and anvil there. Uh, start pushing. Chuck in some explosives there. Start pushing. Where are our other unit of players? Oh, already in there? Oh, crap. Uh, Haikun Kalida can do what she want, but honestly, I don't really care. Uh, you have to deal with that, please. Ink. You have to lock them off while these miners will be responsible for pushing. Oh. And we have a second. Okay, cool. Just now get on these guys. You guys can pull back. Slayers will are hacking through the infantry just fine. Necro attack. Just pull back, pull back, pull back. 
Hold. Just hold. Dowie, hold. You can do this, King Belagar. I believe in you. Anyways, just keep pushing. Just make sure they, they're not coming back and whatnot. Um, let's just push forward a bit. Yep, we blow up there. We have successfully blown up their uh, units. Now we just push forward. These guys will have to push forward. Slayers, you can now push forward the back lines. Chuck in some explosives, please. Now push forward over there. Um, Belagar is having a beating, so this is exactly where we come in with this supporting item. And also smoke bomb just to slow her down. And we keep shooting. Move forward. And we keep repeating. Like, it's not. Just keep holding with the extended. Um, I extended damage resistance. You should. You might be able to hold. But first of all, let us just deal with everything else. Um, as long as the, those are gone, we should be able to just get back here and finish off Kalida. Especially with Slayer still supporting your engagement there. Uh, you guys can start moving over. Especially these guys. And just keep shooting, guys. Um, yeah, Belagar should be able to hold himself in combat. Ironbreakers now move over to beat down everything else. And keep yourself high in spirits. That's uh, very important in combat, always. As you can see here, these miners just hacking, using their pickaxe, hacking away on the bone giant. Okay, pull back a little bit. The curse is up, so there will be a bit of damage on everything in the vicinity, but he will be holding. King Belagar will be holding. Our warriors are still pushing for the... are just gonna chase off the... Oops. Where is Belgar? Oh, he's here. And Kalida's down for the count. And there we go. Actually managed to beat that. Oh boy. Belgar win seven. That's a that's a that's a win and a seventh game. Yeah. That was a pretty hectic as a battle, but uh, I would say I did take advantage on the skill gap between me and my opponent, as my opponent carelessly threw all that Nekar and horsemen to try to shut down the boat throwers, but unsuccessful in that attempt. Like, if he actually kept his Nekar and horsemen at bay while bombarding me with the Casket of Souls, I might just have to abandon all my artillery and start pushing forward, but instead, he charged in with all the horsemen unable to route off the Dawi artillery since they do have decent leadership, even if they are just artillery crew. And with that, my other units are able to converge and collapse and wipe out their horsemen. And as a result, they don't have any mobility to pressure me. I can just leave my artillery behind, leave them to shoot uh, freely at the Cascade of Souls, um, Bone Giant and whatnot, and just pick them out uh, gradually in the end, while my infantry just go all in pushing forward and trash their infantry like as i said in the end if he could have capped these horsemen oh they're not even their current they're just skeleton horsemen but still very crucial mobility you want them alive to like they don't necessarily have to do damage they just have to be there and distract your opponent make sure that like they are aware of that presence and they, like i might not have been able to just push forward. Instead, I will have to keep my units at bay and start trying to do an artillery standoff, which I might have just lost with all that uh, casket of soul bombardment. Just wrecking my infantry line. But anyways, uh, let's get ourselves one last game for the night or for the day, depending on where you are. For me, it's night as I do live in an Asian time zone. But yeah. Let's just get the last game for the day, excuse me, for the day, and yeah, let's see what we'll end up with. And 
now we wait. Oh. Oh, LS content. Oh. I th a fellow streamer. I'm not sure if he's actually streaming right now. Um, but let's see. Oh, wait. Our... Our opponent has left the game. Maybe he just didn't like the map. I'm not sure what the map is, but I didn't bother to check anyways. Uh, okay, Elfin. Interesting. They're going... They're going Vampire Counts. Now, what shall we do with the Vampire Counts? Let's go with some Iron Drakes. And we should go with also some... Elites of the elites. Now, of course, miners. Let's not forget about that part. Um, just gonna utilize that charge defense and melee defense. Um, yeah, my throat is a bit on its limit now because I was also gaming with a friend beforehand, and I've been like taxing it a bit. So, anyways, of course we have Belagar just bringing his buffs. Now, what else do we have to debuff our enemy there? Let's just bring in a Thane this time. With some of the stuff coming in to help support our combat. Now, our opponent not being very nice here since they just went straight for that. Oh boy, that's uh, too much. Let's just get a couple slayers in the fray and we have some firepower here. Do we get more warriors? Maybe. Or should we just get another iron breaker? Hmm. The true question. You know what? Screw it. Oh, wait. No. Um, all right. Cool, 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 cool. Just get ourselves an our iron breaker and that's it. Well, we're only 270 gold short, I suppose, which is not too shabby. We did uh, lollygagging for too long for on the unit selection screen. Now, let's just go in and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, let's just get the Miners! unit spread out, deployed, and make sure we have our Iron Drake slightly separated. Miners! And we don't want them to Miners stick in a rigid line, simply due to the presence of Winds of Death, the Miners! most formidable artillery piece of the Vampire Count. Yes, Vampire Counts do have artillery piece in the name of, well, uh, Winds of Death. Especially when they bring in, like, double Necromancer. Like, that is a pretty ridiculous regeneration when they just keep stroking their uh, Forbidden Rod. But anyways, we shall see what happens on this one. I assume they might bring in the mortis engine oh wow full aerial build i do wonder what where are their infantry i just i don't have any sight on them i suppose but that's uh oh crap i should have brought master engineer instead of the thing ah well such is the life of not having a fixed build like i know that like competitive players uh i'm not quite there yet i'm trying but um a lot of competitive competitive players have like they have a separate army list, army setup saved in their PC for each matchup. So say they main dwarfs and they will just have a unit for every single faction. Oh, so what are they blasting at? Hendrix, uh, not a bad target. 
Block of Doom, okay. I'm just gonna tank that, I suppose. I don't have any choice uh, about that. And of course, they have a bunch of dogs coming in. Okay, cool. And... Oh. Oh, yeah. Yep, I do have this. And let's just do that. Kane, can you get on top of that? Oh boy, that that really hurt. I was not ready for this matchup. Oh well, that was my bad, because I did not plan out this matchup at all. Not well enough, at least. I mean, the, the Dowies are tanking okay, but most of... My damage dealer units are gone, most of them. Oh wait, uh, we can keep chugging the trap in there, I suppose. Players, you can charge those. Um, seems like the minor blasting, which blasting charges are still somehow holding. Um, well, Belagar is speeding up uh, our opponent here pretty damn effectively, which is nice. You got Ironbreakers can keep running. Um, you guys have to run over there. You guys have to keep shooting. Uh, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Don't stop. Uh, yeah, this is not gonna be anything of use. Well. Okay, Belagar is free. He can go and beat up the. Oh boy, he just ripped apart everything in there. Um, do we have another. Oh, damn it, we need. We desperately need another. Uh. Rune off. Nope, we don't have that right now. Oh, at least can we get ourselves a bit better at attacking? Okay, cool. At least we we do have that. And Belagar is holding okay in combat, especially with the Slayer support. Uh, just keep being at these guys. Uh, the Thane is holding just fine. Now, come back here and start shooting, please. Do they have enough range? Nope. Uh, Ironbreaker is holding, which is nice for us. Of course, they're using Dance Macabre to punch through our melee defense. Uh, I guess that's what I deserve for promoting Dance Macabre as a thing against any more elite infantry. Please, shoot! Come on! Nope, they didn't get a single shot off, and they're wasted. We still have seven of these guys left, which is nice. We need however many we can get. Uh, let's just get this up a bit, just to hold a little longer in combat. Uh, can we do this? Now, get ourselves a bit of a buff in melee. Ironbreaker is holding forever against anything. So, now keep shooting. Are you shooting? Come on, at least shoot them. Oh, well. Oh, yep, 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 they're getting shots off. Nice! Yes, Iron Drakes, that's what I'm get paying you for. Mm. Okay, cool. And it seems that the Dawi are getting this under control. Um, the... Um, the Vampire Counts have lost a lot of their momentum. Now, this chart might as well... Okay, uh, actually just... Cut up the chaff a bit, and army losses ex dropping in. The um, yep, we're just beating back everything they have, and we're done. The Dawi is just a bit too tough in this instant. Like the Iron Breaker is just not unyielding, standing firm, ever vigilant, holding back tides and tides of opponents. Holy crap! Anyways, um, that's gonna be it for tonight. I suppose I will be uh, uploading this VOD over to YouTube. So if you want to check it out again, feel free to drop by my YouTube channel. I have a bunch of uh, content already uploaded over there, mainly videos I made, uh, battle replays, wild builds, a lot of wild army builds actually. That's basically my passion for this game, making weird army builds using underrated units or weird unit combos like say Belagar like he, you never see him and he did absolutely fine over here 1500 
almost 1600 value here, still have a lot of gas left. Beat the crap out of the Von Karstein Vampire Lord and using that melee defense to support the engagement. And also the other units are also very solid as always for the Dowie here. This one Iron Drake did pay back for themselves, this one got smacked pretty poorly but in the end a lot of their the units of the Dowie just held their own, pulled their weight and emerged victorious against the va uh, Vampire Count. And yeah, so let's just um, quickly go through what I'm gonna have to say for the ending. Yeah, I still have, I also recently did a video just talking about how to crack open that, uh, that Vampire, oh no wait, that High Elf Elite box as the Vampire. So if you'd like to check out some more multiplayer tips, feel free to drop by my uh, playlist and go for the how to multiplayer it has a bunch of tips and strategies for total War warhammer 2 online multiplayer and yeah so yeah that's basically it for tonight i think i will just make a video about belagor uh the belagar army build on youtube and upload it over there and yeah that will be my next army build video and yeah that's basically it for tonight or a day depending on where you are. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Tactical Itch, signing out.